James Gunn assures everyone every announced DCU project is still coming despite lack of updates. So he goes, some scripts are in development, either looking for writers or being written or rewritten, he says. When scripts are finished, they're ready to be made. They are greenlit and then they are in production. He was then asked to clarify if it's safe to assume everything the announced slate was in development and Gunn simply replied, yes. Okay. So this kind of clarifies because I know a lot of people were like, well, what does this mean? Or how does this like, what does this all mean for everything? Because a lot of people get confused. A lot of people want to know what is going on. How is this going to, to happen? What is, what is happening here? All right. So he made his announcement of all these films or projects, you know, Paradise Lost and Supergirl and uh, Superman and Creature Commandos and Waller and um, Booster Gold and all this stuff. Now, they had to specifically put things in order to shoot them and and put them into production a certain way. Obviously, Superman was the, the first movie they wanted to get out the door first. The next one was Supergirl. Uh, we don't know what the next movie is going to be. There is rumor that the next one is going to be the authority. That is rumor. The only two that are in pre-production though are Supergirl and Lanterns. Everything else is currently being written. He has said in the past that films that are ready to go, they will not make a movie with a crappy script. And he says this on threads today. He says, just to clarify, I said everything we originally announced was still in development, not that it's still coming. Okay. Well, that's interesting. That all depends on the scripts. Oh, we'll never put a half-ass script in production just because it was announced. Well, this is where he's going to get himself into trouble. <laughs> this is really where he's going to get himself into trouble here. Because now you're going to have a bunch of people saying, well, why did he announce a bunch of projects if he says it's possible that it's not coming? Well, we've seen studios do this before. Marvel did this before. Other studios have done it before. This is a blunder on DC, 100% on DC Studios. This is a blunder on James Gunn. This is a blunder on Peter Safran. Um, I, I don't think that they should announce anything that they are not planning on on releasing but i understand where they're coming from i understand that look you have plans you're saying hey you know this is the slate of of projects that we want to come that we want to have come out oh crap we can't get a script right and then it doesn't come out i get that but the way you announce it then has to be done that way the way you announce it has to be well these are the planned projects these are what we're planning on doing. This is what we would like to do pending us getting scripts, pending us getting the story right. These are what we wanted to have come out, but that's not how they presented it. So all those projects, Waller, Booster Gold, Swamp Thing, Brave and the Bold, all of that stuff. Sure, it's still in development, but he hasn't confirmed and he's not confirming that they're all still coming. Ah, oh, this is going to be a field day for sure for all the naysayers of the DCU and DC Studios. Let me tell you, that is worrisome. Um, like I said, the, the, it was not. I give James Gunn credit for for being open about it here. I give him credit for that. But again, this was a bad, bad call to announce these projects and then. A year later, almost a year later, or more than a year later, whatever it's been, I don't even remember what it's been now, to then come out and say this. You know, you don't come out and say this you know, when, when people are expecting these projects. That's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, I think he needs to really come out this week at New York Comic Con with some big information with some reveals like this is coming, this is coming, this is coming, this is coming. Like he has to, there has to be bigger information in creature commandos. Now this is damaging. This is damaging information coming from DC studios and James Gunn. Uh, it's not, it's not deadly damaging, but it's damaging enough where there's going to be a lot of negative press on him. 
in DC studios for the next few weeks uh, because of this. And it's, it's bad. It's bad. I, like I said, I am the neutral person here. I will talk positively about the DCU and DC studios, but when they make bad decisions and make bad calls like this, and when he makes a mistake, I will call it out. And this was a bad call. This was a mistake right here. Very much so. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, though, about this. Uh, again, I'm fine. I'm fine with him saying, look, when a script is ready, that's when we'll, we'll put a, a movie into production. That makes sense. Or in the pre-production. That makes sense. But it was wrong. It was a bad move to say, these are the projects we have lined up. And then however many months later, 20 months later, whatever it's been, to then come out and say, well... Yeah, I mean, they're all in development, but if we don't get a script, they're not coming. <laughs> like, that's just, that's not cool. That's not cool because you get fans excited and you do that. Not cool, man. Not cool. Bad look. Bad look for sure. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below.